Tunapoanza fungua kitabu cha Methali sura ya kwanza mstari wa 33. If we start please open the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 33. Tunakwenda kujifunza siri ya sadaka. Secret of the offering. Kwa hiyo hata sadaka ina siri yake. So even the offering has its own secret. Biblia inaandika inasema bali kila anisikilizaye atakaa salama naye atatulia bila kuogopa mabaya whoever listens to me will be safe without fearing tunapokwenda kuangalia siri ya sadaka as we are going to look about the secret of the offerings kwa nini iwe siri why is it a secret kwa sababu kanisa Mungu analifunulia kile ambacho yeye anataka ili kanisa liweze kufanikiwa because God revealed to the church what he want for the church to be uh, prosperous. Sio kila mahali na sio kila wakati Mungu anafunua siri watoto wake wajipangeje juu ya sadaka ama juu ya kutoa ili wakutane na Mungu. It's not everywhere or every time that God reveal uh, to his children about offering on how they can prepare and offer before him. Zaburi 25 na ule mstari wa 14 nasema Psalm 25 14 it says Siri ya Bwana iko kwa wa mchao naye atawajulisha gano lake Amen Umeona neno hili Have you seen this word Unamchaje Mungu kwenye sadaka How do you fear God in offering Wewe hujajua You have not yet known Ukitoa sadaka iwe ni fungu la kumi kwa uaminifu kuongozi wa Mungu unamwabudu Mungu If you give your 10% faithfully to God you're worshiping him Ndivyo Mungu alivyomwambia Ibrahim Is what God told Abraham katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya 22 In the book of Genesis 22 Haleluya Haleluya Na ule mstari wa 12 Verse 12 Inasemaje What does it say Kumbuka habari hii Ibrahimu Mungu alimwambia mtoe mwanao wa pekee mpendaye Isaka ukamtoe sadaka katika moja ya milima ya Moria Sinisawe Remember this story God instruct Abraham to sacrifice his own son in the mountain Moria Sinisawe Is that okay Na Ibrahim kubali kwenda kumtoa mtoto wake wa pekee Isaka akamchinje kama sadaka and Abraham was willing to sacrifice Isaac in the mountain kumbuka Mungu ndio alimwambia kwa sauti yake mtoe mwanao remember it's God himself instructing how many sema. people understand these points watu wengi wanapotoa wanatoaga kwa sauti ya nani most people offered but whose voice are they obeying ndio maana kuna roho za utapeli zimeingia na watu wengi hawakui kiroho wameharibiwa njia zao za kiroho that's why there is spirit of scamming and people are not growing spiritually no. because they've been destroyed no kiharibiwa njia zako za kiroho na haribiwa uchumi wako wa kiroho and if your spiritual ways have been destroyed your financial will be destroyed no kiharibiwa uchumi wako wa kiroho huwezi kuona katika ulimwengu wa mwili wa damu na nyama hata kama ulikuwa na vision kubwa huwezi kufikia hiyo vision yako and if your financial spiritual will be destroyed physically you cannot see it tunaona Mungu ndio anamwambia Ibrahim katika ile mstari wa kwanza akamwambia ikawa baada ya mambo hayo Mungu akamjaribu Ibrahim akamwambia je Ibrahim naye akasema mimi hapa akasema mchukue mwanao mwanao wa pekeo mpendaye Isaka ukaende zako mpaka nchi ya Moria ukamtoe sadaka ya kuteketezwa huko juu ya mlima moja wapo si ndio hivyo Is that written so? Sauti ya Mungu ndio anamwambia chukua huyu mtoto iwe kama sadaka. Peleka. Is the voice of God tell Abraham take your son and go sacrifice him. Tena mtoto wako umpendaye. Your own son that you love him. Akampeleka. He took him. Akafika kwenye hiyo moja ya hiyo milima. He went to one of those mountains. Akafika Mungu anamwangalia tu. He was there and God was watching. Akatengeneza madhabahu. He prepared an altar. Akamchukua mtoto wake. He took his son. Ile anataka kumchinja. When he wanted to to sacrifice. Sikiliza Mungu huyo huyo aliyemwambia toa sadaka. Huyo huyo anarudi kusema naye. Listen the same God told him to sacrifice his sons as so God came to verse 12 he said usimnyoshe kijana mkono wako wala msimtendee neno kwa maana sasa ninajua ya kuwa unamcha Mungu hebu mpe Yesu makofi please clap for Jesus anasema sasa nimehakikisha unamcha nani he said now have proved that you, you fear God Sadaka unapotoa kwa sauti ya Mungu na ukaitimiza kwa uaminifu kwa kutoa bila kujali nini kinatokea sikiliza unamcha nani na unapomcha Mungu sikiliza kiwango chako hakitabaki jinsi kilivyo cha kiroho na cha kibinadamu Once you give your offering according to the instruction of God your your level won't be remaining the same physical and the spiritual Let me simplify it Ibrahim to you. Abraham alinuliwa na Mungu paka akawa baba wa mataifa He was elevated by God he was a spiritual father to nations Kwa njia gani 
By what way? Kwa sababu ya kumsikiliza Mungu anachosema na kutimiza. By listening to God what he say and the perform on it. Watu wengi wanataka karama kubwa, wanataka huduma kubwa, wanataka wajulikane, wainuliwe juu, lakini kwenye sadaka wataki kumsikiliza Mungu. Na hapo utabaki kiwango kile kile ulichokuwa nacho. Most people want to hear from God, wants to be elevated in ministry, but they don't want to hear the voice of God. You're going to remain the same. Israel waliambiwa wanapotoa sadaka kwa uaminifu kwa sauti yangu unanicha mimi Mungu. Israel I were told if you put your offering according to my instruction you're fearing me. Ibrahim anaambiwa umenitolea sadaka kwa uongozi wangu umenicha mimi Mungu. And we see Abraham was told you gave the offering according to my instruction you have feared me. Ndio maana wanainuliwa. That's why they are elevated. Hebu sema amina. Please say amen. Mtu yeyote yule any kind of a person mungu, that is God fearing mbele za mungu, as you go before God kutoa sadaka, to put your offering la kwanza lazima ujitakase. the first condition you must purify yourself Usitoe sadaka kwa mazoea ama kwa uzoefu. do not give your offering just because you're used to Watu wengi wamekosea kwa sababu hiyo. Most people have wrong God by that way. Kumbuka Mungu aliyeziumba mbingu na inchi na wanadamu na kumleta Yesu Kristo kuokoa wanadamu kila anayemwamini. Remember the God who brought Jesus Christ to save all the man that's gonna believe in him. Yeye Mungu ni mtakatifu. He is holy. Yeye ni safi. He is clean. Takatifu ni kitu safi. A clean is something that is pure. Ni chombo safi. It's an a clean dish. Mungu wetu ni safi. Our God is very clean. Ndio maana anasemaga heri wenye moyo safi watamuona Mungu. That's why kwa he, Mungu ni safi. That's why he say blessed to the pure souls because they're gonna see God because God is pure. Unanielewa kitu nasema? You understand what the man of God is saying? Kwa hiyo siri ya sadaka unapompa Mungu na sio dini na wasio mwanadamu kama unajua na mpelekea Mungu na yule Mungu yuko kwenye hiyo madhabahu anajifunua siri yake cha Kwanza unapopeleka lazima uwe umejitakasa uwe safi kutoka kwenye moyo wako. Once you bringing your offering to God the first thing is to make sure you sanctify yourself before you put your offering. Ndipo hiyo sadaka utakapoitoa Mungu anaipokea mbele zake. And then once you offer thing that offering God going to receive it Hebu from heaven. Sema, amina. Please say amen. Kwa hiyo usitoe sadaka kwa namna ya kawaida au kwa namna ya mazoea. Do not put your offering anyhow or because you are used to it. Mtu yote anayetoa sadaka kwa kuisikia sauti ya Mungu. Whoever that gives offering for hearing the voice of God. Mtu huyo hata ka awe chini kamwe. That person will never be down ever. Na maadui and the enemies hawataweza kufunga njia zake. Can never bind his or her ways. Wala kumfunga katika maisha yake. Or bind her life or his life. Please say amen if you understand. Kwa sababu sana. sadaka inapotolewa kwa uongozi wa Mungu na kwa sauti ya Mungu, sadaka ile saa yote na kwa kwenye kiti cha enzi cha Mungu ikinena mema, ikitamka mema kumkumbusha Mungu juu ya huyo mtu aliyetoa sadaka. Any offering that is given by the instruction of God when it's reached to the throne of God it's always speak well about the person who offered the offering. Ndipo saa yote jicho la Mungu litamtazama huyo mwanadamu. Is then all the time the eye of God going to be upon that man? Hebu sema mimi kama ninaelewa. Please say amen if you understand. Bwana akaniambia. And God told the man of God. Watu wajifunze kunitolea sadaka kwa kuisikia sauti yangu. People should learn to put offering by listening my voice. They should offer by my instruction, I God. Mungu anapoagiza sadaka. Once God instruct offering. Au akamtumia mtumishi awaye yote kufundisha juu ya sadaka. He may use an servant to teach about offering. Ukimaliza kufundishwa na ukasema amina na ukaelewa. Once you say amen because you have understand. Wakati wa kutoa, the time of giving, usitoe kwa sababu una akiba ya fedha mfukoni mwako. Do not give because you have some savings in your pocket. Cha kwanza ujue unataka kumtolea Mungu nini? Lazima hicho unatoa nini? Lazima umsikie yeye ambaye unataka kumtolea. First you must listen the one that going to instruct you on what to give. Lazima ufungue moyo wako wa ndani. You must open your inner person. Na muulize Mungu nikutolea kitu gani maana nimeelewa umuhimu wa kutoa. And ask God what should I give because I've understand the meaning of giving. Ama mtumishi ameagizwa juu ya kitu fulani au jambo fulani. Or the servants of God have been instructed by some things. Iwe ni semina ama ni mkutano. Maybe a seminar or a crusade. Ama ujenzi wa kanisa. Or some, some construction. Ama namna yoyote ile. Or any any other thing. Mungu anaweza kamwagiza mtumishi wake. God can instruct the man of God. Na akakufundisha na ukalewa. And teach you and understand. 
Lakini ili ufaidike kiwango cha sadaka yako. But for you to benefit the level of your offering, lazima umuulize Mungu ndani ya roho yako. You must ask God from your heart. Mama yeye alikuwa anakufundisha kupitia huyo mtumishi. Because he was the one teaching you through the servant. Ukipanda haba utavuna haba. If you plan less you're going to re- replace. Mpandaji wa kwanza anayeanzisha huduma ama kipawa ama familia ni Mungu. A first sower is God himself. Anakupa kama mtaji. He gonna give you as an capital. Unapoitwa na Mungu ni mtaji. Once God is calling you is a capital. Mbingu zimehakikisha zimekuita. Heaven make sure that you Lakini being called. Lakini kufikia maono yako bila Mungu kukuongoza juu ya sadaka na kila sadaka unapotoa ina thamani ya kukuinua kiroho ama ki hawa chako kuendelea kuboreshwa kwenda juu but you can't reach your vision without god instructing you by offering and each offering comes with a level spiritually hallelujah hallelujah kama umeitwa kwa ajili ya kipawa fulani hakiwezi kutokea tu lazima Mungu atakijaribu lazima Mungu atakutraini kwa njia ya sadaka if you are called about some talent god must test it by through offering for it to be elevated mama sadaka ni kumcha Mungu because offering is fearing god kuna watu wanalia nilikuwa na kipawa lakini hakiendelei nilikuwa na huduma tangu nimeitwa isogei sikiliza watu wengi Mungu ananiambia watu wengi wako tayari kusikiliza maagizo mengine kwa sauti ya Mungu. lakini kifika saa ya hela sema hela say money kwenye hela hawamsikilizi Mungu kabisa na, na hata Mungu akisema wanapoteza hiyo sauti sikiliza sio kupoteza hiyo sauti my friend utabaki jinsi ulivyo maisha yako yote paka na watoto wako maana mwenye kukuinua kiwango Mungu atakupima kwenye hela Most people they have been given talent and a ministry they say we don't flourish we don't see progress why because they are ready to listen to God about everything else except the, the voice of offering na watu wengi ambao hawajui sauti ya Mungu na watu wengi ambao hawajui njia ya Mungu na watu wengi ambao hawajui huduma ya Mungu Mungu ndio anawafundishaga wakati wanapotoa sadaka zao na sauti yake most people that they don't know the ministry of God the voice of God is God himself gonna teach them once they hear his voice Bwana kaniambia yeyote anayesikia sauti yangu God told the man of God whoever gonna hear my voice anabarikiwa hata kwa jinsi alivyo will be blessed who not remain the same na wengi walionekana wako chini sana. And most have been seen that are very low in life. Ghafla watu watawashuhudia wanabadilika kwa haraka kwa sababu ya kuisikia sauti yangu Mungu aliniambia kwa njia ya utoaji. But soon the people gonna testify or see these people be elevated and their life be changed because they are listening the voice of God. Kila mtu anayesikia sauti ya Mungu kwenye eneo la utoaji utakuwa heri. Every person that hears the voice of God about offering and obey you're going to be a blessed. Na sio tu heri unakuwa heri na uzao wako na familia yako. And not only you're going to be blessed not only you but you and your entire generation. Umeelewa kitu nimesema? Have you understand this point? Watu wengi wametetewa na Mungu, Mungu anapowaambia toa kitu fulani hata kama ina gharama, Mungu anakuja kuangalia na kizazi chake. Most people God have defend them because he instruct them offering even if it was expensive they did it God is looking to their generation. Matapeli wamepata nafasi kubwa kwa kanisa. These cameras have have an opportunity. Anakwambia toa hiyo barikiwe toa hiyo wewe mwenyewe moyo ni hata hujaambiwa. They say give this for you to be blessed ha. even you don't feel from your ha. heart. Mungu hana haraka hizo. God is not rushing Mungu anataka aseme na wewe. God wants to talk to you. Usikie roho ni mwako. To hear from your heart. Ili saa hata unapopita kwenye njia ya Bwana. So as you passing to the way of God. Shetani anapokuzomea na maagenti wake. When the enemy are making jokes on you. Eti kwamba ulitoa sadaka. Ah. Kama umetoa sadaka mbona hujajibiwa? Mbona unapita kwenye ili jua kali? Mbona unapita utamwambia shetani funga kinywa maana nilisikia waziwazi niko na Bwana. Once the enemy I try to offend and to tell you you gave your offering and you're not yet blessed. Your Lord said gonna bless you or not bless you gonna say the enemy shut up because I myself heard the voice of God. Kama umebarikiwa mshangilia Yesu kwa makofi. If you're blessed, please clap for Jesus. Leo ni siku ya tofauti sana. Today is a different day. Kuna watu wataponywa bila kujua wameponywaje. There some people gonna be healed without them knowing. Kuna watu wana, wanatengwa na lana na misasi. Some people are be separated from cars. Yes. Kuna vitu vinachomoka iwe ni uvimbe, there's iwe ni kansa, iwe ni kisukari, can be too iwe ni pressure. Okay, iwe ni vidonda vya tumbo vinachomoka bila kujua vinaondoka. They coming out without you knowing that are coming out. Maana utukufu wa Mungu umeshuka hapa. Because the glory of God have descend. Na sauti ya Mungu inaachiliwa ndani ya mioyo ya watu waziwazi. And the voice of God have been released in the hearts of people. 
Naona malaika wawili wakubwa wamepiga magoti wanaonyesha ishara ya utukufu wa Mungu na shuka mahali hapa. The man of God see two angels kneeling down to show the sign of God that his glory have descend. Baba asante. Father thank you. Ulitakalo lifanyike kwa ajili ya watu wako. What you wish let yes. it happen to your children. Ulitakalo lifanyike kwa ajili ya watoto wako. What you wish let it happen let it be done in your children. Kuna watu ambao wana mioyo migumu wametengenezwa na adui. There are people with stiff hearts that the enemy have caused them. Hata Mungu anaposhuka hawako rohoni wako mwilini kabisa. Even when God descend is in physical no spiritual. Yaani hata hawajijui wako wapi. They don't even understand themselves. Achilia Mungu ashughulike na ule ugumu uondoke kwenye moyo wako. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ name. Utukufu wako ushuke tena baba. Let your glory descend once again. Sauti yako sikike juu ya watoto wako. Your voice to be heard in your children. Kila mmoja kwa nafasi yake. Each and every one in their position. Kwa kadri alivyonyenyekea mbele zako. Receive the chance that I have. Achilia utukufu wako juu yake Bwana. Release your glory on this people. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliyehai. Jesus Christ name the living God. Kuna watu walinenewa mateso mateso yanachomoka yanaondoka The people came here with suffering suffering is leaving them Kuna watu wamenenewa mateso kwenye maisha yao ninaona mateso Mungu anashughulika nao yanachomoka yanaondoka The people were uttered suffering to suffer but the man of God sees how suffering are leaving from mateso your heart Mateso yanaondoka Suffering is leaving Asema roho ya mateso I'm speaking to the spirit of suffering Leo kamata nafsi ya mtu huyu That captured the soul of this person Leo kamata maisha ya mtu huyu Captured the life of this man Asema roho ya mateso I'm speaking with the spirit of suffering Na kutenga na mtu huyu I disconnect you from this person Mikosi na balana kutenga na mtu huyu Misfortune I disconnect you from this person Katika jina la Yesu Kristo In Jesus Christ name kila aina la teso every type of suffering iwe la ugonjwa maybe for sickness utashika mahali panapouma you may touch where you have the pain iwe la utasa kutokushika mimba if it's for burden you're not conceiving utashika tumbo lako touch your stomach liwe la ndoa if it's for marriage utashika moyo wako hold your heart liwe la maskini waliokutamkia na familia yako if it's for poverty that they uttered to you and your family utashika mikono yako you gonna hold your hands baba father uweza wako umewaachilia huko hapa you have released your mighty in your people kwa sababu umeliachilia neno lako juu ya watu wako because you have released your word on children angalia mateso walionayo see the suffering they have yale wazuilia baraka zao that blocked their blessings mateso kwenye mili yao suffering in their bodies kisukari diabetes pressure high blood pressure vidonda vya tumbo ulcers uvimbe tumor o maskini walionenewa the poverty that were uttered on them upofu blindness kila aina ateso every type of suffering waliofungiwa kichawi that they were bound witchcraft laka ya jina la Yesu Kristo by the authority of the name of Jesus ninaamuru mateso hayo yaondoke kwa watu wako i command all suffering to get out from your children kila aina ya mateso every kind of suffering yanawafanya wanyong'onye that makes them to be sad na yaamuru yanye I command them to disappear. Kila aina ya mateso. Every kind of suffering. Yaliozuilia njia yako. That blocks your way. Kwa ajili ya wivu. By jealousy. Walikunenea mateso. They speak past you. Kwa sababu ya wivu. Because of jealousy. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. By the authority of the name of Ma Jesus. Mama mateso ndoka. And persecution leave. Achilia uchumi wa watu wao. Let's go of the financial. Achilia mikono yao. Let's go of the hands. Achilia ndoa zao. Let's go of the marriage. Achilia matumbo yao. Let's go of the womb. Uvimbe yayuka. Tuma melt. Uvimbe yayuka. Tuma melt. Majini saba. Seven demons. Yaliokaa kwenye anga lako. That's sitting on your heaven space. Majini ya kichawi. The yaliomiliki uchumi wako nasema sasa kwa jina la Yesu haribika na uondoke jini la kwanza jini la pili la tatu la ne la tano la sita na walioka kwenye kitovu na la soba na la mwisho kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu one two three Marine spirit. 
marine spirit marine spirit marine spirit ulio kaa kwenye kidole cha ndoa sitting on the on the finger yes Near. marine spirit shika huyo mtu anakimbia kule shika huyo mtu uko Marine spirit. Holy am I man am ke huyu. Holy am I bint huyu. Shika huyo. Holy ka kwenye ndoa. Sitting on the marriage. Marine spirit. Marine spirit. Amekalia kidole chako cha pete. Sitting on your uh, uh, ring. Bwana uh, naambia huyu ni marine spirit. God is telling the man this is a marine. Ni roho ya baharini. Is is a spirit. Ile oh watoto wa Mungu. Ikaribu maisha yako. Ninakuwa huru marine spirit. I command you marine spirit. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. I know sorry to the name of Jesus. Hari pika utawala wako. Disappear from your kingdom. Hari pika ondoka juu ya wanandoa hawa. Destroyed and get out of the kingdom. Hari pika ondoka kwenye tumbo lake. Be destroyed and get out of the storm. Achilia watoto kwenye tumbo lake. Let's go the children in this storm. Uvimbe kama kisasi uondoke. And the tumor has revenge in melt. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Achilia na uchumi wake. Let's go the financial. Ulioleta faraka ya ndoa. That you brought to come comfort. Wewe ni marine spirit. You are the marine spirit. Ulioleta faraka ya ndoa. That you brought to conflict in the marriage. Ni watu wao wafarakane. For these people to have Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo le ha. In Jesus name. Nina kuamuru sasa hivi. I command you right now. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. By the authority of the name of Jesus. Hari dikandoka. Destroyed and get In Jesus name. Jesus. Yes. Kila pando asilo lipanda Mungu wa mbinguni litangolewa. Every seed that is not planted by the heaven father will be uprooted. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo la. In Jesus Christ name. Jesus. Yes. Baba natakasa mikono hii. Father I sanctify these hands. Natamka baraka juu ya mikono hii. I utter blessings on these hands. Baba natakasa matumbo haya. Father I sanctify this stomach. Katika jina la Yesu yakapokea ujauzito. In Jesus name they should conceive. Yakapokea watoto wa kike na wa kiume. Receive male and women. Yakapokea mapacha. Receive twins. Natakasa mabinti hawa. I purify this young lady. Wakaolewe. To get married. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ's name. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Nina watenga na wanaume wa kiroho. I disconnect you from the spiritual husband. Nina watenga na wanaume wa kiroho. I disconnect them from the marine spirit. From marine spirit. Marine spirit. From marine spirit. Uta moa mwanamke huyu. You won't marry this woman. Uta mfunga mwanaume huyu. You won't bind this man. Nina wafungua. I set them free. Nina wafungua. I set them free. Kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Kila aina ya teso linaondolewa. Every kind of persecution and suffering is removed. Kila kuto liowekewa unabomolewa. Every wall is been trampled down. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo leo. Jesus Christ name the living God. Baba asante. Father thank you. Wasioweza wakawezeshwe. To the one that are is able to be able. Waliofungiwa njia zao na zifungua njia zao. The one that is away we blocked I open them. Waliofungiwa njia zao na huduma zao na vipawa vyao na vifungua kutoka sasa na sauti yako ikawe wazi ndani yao katika jina la Yesu. The one that is away the ministry and ways we blocked I open and set them free in Jesus name. Wewe ambao misuli yako haifanyi kazi. To you that your muscles are not working. Kuna mtu ana shida ya misuli yake. There's a person with a problem of muscles. Na unashindwa kutembea. You cannot walk. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. In Jesus Christ name. Ninaamuru kutoka sasa. I command from this moment. Uzima wa Kristo uingie ndani ya misuli yako. The healing of Christ to pass in your muscles. Kwenye mwili wako. In your body. Kwenye moyo wako. In your heart. Kila aina ya mshipa. Every kind of muscle. Katika jina la Yesu uwe sawa. In Jesus Christ to be Kama Mungu alivyoumbia. Has how God created it. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa majina naitwa Christina Kanute. Mimi nilikuja mahali hapa nilikuwa naumwa sana. Ndio. Creation ni mwili wote ni kunywa dawa tu kila wakati. Sawa. Mwaka jana. Ndio. Mungu akaniambia kuna kanisa linaitwa Vuka Jordan. Nenda huko. Ndio hiyo siku mlikuwa mnauza kanda ile ya mtakeni Mungu na nguvu zake. Sawa. Nikawa nimenunua hiyo CD na Mungu kweli akanisaidia akanifungua kuna kitu nilikitapika usiku nilikuwa naumwa sana sema kipo kwenye simu basi Mungu akanisaidia saa tisa usiku nililala kwa kuangaika sana lakini mwanaume akanambia usiogope utakaa tu sawa mahali hapo mimi najua watu wanafunguliwa na kweli Mungu akanisaidia saa tisa hiyo 
hiyo kitu ikaje kunitoka nikamwambia naomba kitu nitapikie hicho kitu nikaje nikakitoa na hiyo hali ikaisha kabisa na magonjo yakaondoka kabisa mm. pea yesu makofi hebu naenda kakilete mami hichi hapa hicho hapa ndio nilivyo tapika hichi kweli hiyo hali ikaisha kabisa na nikalala usingizi mpaka saa 11 iko kama nyama si nyama si ni nyama kama si iko kama ni nyama nyama hivi e, lakini e. tangu siku hiyo kimetoka hiyo hali ikawa imeisha kabisa paka na leo ni mzima ndio nani unashuhudia eh oh, afu yesu makofi kabisa clap for jesus kwenye ndo wangu kulikuwa na mafarakano sana yani wao gomvi sijui hata nishuhudieje hmm. yani ndani ilikuwa mnabga amani paka hata watoto walikuwa nasoma boarding ilibidi wakakae boarding maana ilikuwa hiyo vurugo sijui ilikuaje maana usiku nilikuwa nikilala na ota ndoto za kuwa na wanaume wengine yani kimona tu mwanaume anabadilika wajua wewe ndio ilikuwa tatizo ilikuwa tatizo ni mimi ajia mwanaume ananiambia simama kwenye maombi simama kweli ikamwambia sawa lakini wewe ugomvi hapo ndani yani hata mtu kama anaumwa kila mtu anajua na maisha yake hata kama yeye anaumwa haongee na mtu tunakaa ndani hata miezi mitatu atuongeleshani Mungu amenisaidia nimefunguliwa nimekuwa mke mwema na mheshimu mume wangu <laughs> na mtii sasa hivi niko sawa Amen Kwa hiyo namshukuru Mungu amekutetea na ndoa yako Mungu shuhuda ya tatu nilikuwa na asira sana Niko na asira Niko na asira hata huyu kaka hivi huyu alivyo hata nilikuwa nikipataga asira nikimkamata anifanye kitu nilikuwa na asira zinajua <laughs> mpaka natetemeka hata mtu alikuwa akiniuzi nikimuona hata kama yuko kule mwili wote unapata barizi sitaki hata kumuona sitaki hata kuonana hata akinisalimia sitaki lakini sasa hivi kila mtu nilikuwa yani siongee naye sisalimie naye sasa hizi amani kabisa amani kabisa amen <laughs> Aliye sirudi tena Mungu akubariki kwa jina la Yesu. Come back and God bless you in Jesus name. 